looking for any new books to kick off fall, perhaps? Well, Casey Fox from the Knox County Public Library is here with some book picks for us. So, Casey, a lot of these didn't come out not too long ago, but they all have a common theme, which we will appreciate here in East Tennessee. Yeah, I thought it would be nice to do um, a few new books that have come out recently that um, have to do with Appalachia take place in, in, in the region we're all so familiar with. Excellent, especially during the fall season when the exactly. Appalachian Mountains look the most beautiful. Right. Let's start with this one. This is a thriller pick. Yeah, this is Bearskin by James McLaughlin. It's his first novel. It's got all kinds of starred reviews. Um, it's about a man. It's the the protagonist is an anti-hero and he mm -hmm. is actually hiding out from a, um, a drug cartel. Uh, he's come from Arizona to, to Virginia where he's being the caretaker for a wilderness preserve. Um, while he's working he discovers a, uh, a bear poaching ring and he wants to try to stop this. Law enforcement gets involved then of course the cartel catches wind of his whereabouts and so a lot of drama comes together all in kind of the climax of the book with his his past and his present. It so. sounds exciting. See, yeah. Is it kind of those like love hate with the character? Yeah, you yeah. Know? You know, it's kind of like a true detective oh. type thing. Little little rough around the edges. Awesome. Sounds good. And yeah. what about this one here in the middle? Yeah, this is um, this is a really great new book um, by a journalist named John Ling and he's gone to um, Winchester, Virginia, which is uh, Patsy Cline's hometown. He's gone there to kind of um, uh, get to know this this honky tonk bar that's there called the Troubadour. It's owned by the guy who gave Patsy Klein her break. He was uh -huh. a radio DJ. But he when when he gets there, he finds so much more. He kind of uses the the story of the town and this bar to talk about how small towns in America are trying to hold on to their past yet still face modernity and, and evolve as times change as well. Excellent, two great picks. Now we also mm -hmm. have one for the kids yeah. over here. We can't forget them. This is actually a picture book biography, which I really love. It's a great way to get kids into reading nonfiction. Mm -hmm. This is the story of. Uh, Emma Gatewood, who was the first woman to hike the Appalachian Trail. She did it when she was 67 years old, and then she did it two more times after that. So it's an amazing story um, about this woman, and it's a really good story of perseverance, um, kind of bravery and stick to itiveness. It has a great lesson for children as well. It's good for about up to age eight, and then we also have a, um, a an adult and teen book um, biography of her at the library as well, if older oh, people are interested. Awesome. A little, a little middle ground one as mm -hmm. well. Awesome. That is excellent. Looks like some great choices. I'm going on vacation a couple weeks. I might have to snag one of these. Sounds we great. appreciate it and happy reading to everybody. Thank you, Casey. Thanks for having me. Well, coming up on the show in just a little bit, a new report has alarming statistics about violent crimes in Knoxville. 